You have to basically maintain a perfect mindset 10 games or like, this you know, a whole, two whole sets. Exactly what Which I is insane. I oh yeah, agree. age is starting off. That's definitely the right choice in my Let's opinion. Let's go. This is perfect. Now I want to see how this goes, how this pans out. Three, this is great. Headset? One, oh, it's it broken. Yeah. Oh. You can take this one. It's a little loud though. Yeah. Okay. No, no, you can, you can. No problem. All right, so we got Riku hitting off here. A little bit of a combo going on. Yeah, not too bad, 29%. Those dash attacks were so good last game, right? I mean, I will say, I did notice a little bit. And what I think happened in Winner's Finals is that Chaka was kind of getting a download, right? I feel like he was using both Pyra and Mithra entireties of stocks when you can really switch in between both. Yeah. But I feel like that was because he wanted to see what felt best for him, right? Yeah, like, what, what felt most comfortable, what, really what worked, like, yeah. Right? So I love the way that Choco played that winner's final. Yeah, because I think, I think he, has, he hasn't explored the Aegis uh, Steve as much as he has with Lucas. So he's yeah. trying to figure out, like, okay, what works in Pyro, what works in Mitro. Back and forth, trying to see, okay, what, what situation is against Mitro, what situation is better to use Pyro, yeah. and just taking it from there, you know? But I mean, Riku with a great TNT setup there, able to take the first stock, and now oh, yeah, getting a lot that's of so right much now. extra percent Ooh, here. Oh, no! Wow, that was close. Oh yeah, dropping the anvil here, got it up to the side. So much percent. Yeah, no, trying to put up the pressure again, man. I mean, even when you're out of the combo, who cares, right? I'm still gonna hit you with up tilt, I'm still gonna hit you with jab. You gotta find a way back to center stage, but I'm not gonna let you do it, right? Yeah, it's so hard. Gets the pressure, but good side be there from the ledge of foot oh. stool. Nice concept there from Chaco, anything. but nothing else off that punish. Yeah, I mean, good tech there from uh, Riku. Oh yeah, you know, definitely. Oh, wow. the dash attack, just taking it. Wow, such an early just raw straight dash attack there, catching him out. Gets a punish on the diamond. A down tilt there. I like that option. Good, Good parry. parry as well. Chaco playing kind of nice with it though. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely. But Riku's still in. He's got diamond tools out here. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. Not too shabby here from both players, but 119 is a pretty good lead for Steve, right? Oh, I mean, for this sure. Is only one backer, one F smash, or minecart, or an anvil, or <laughs> or yeah, go down the chopping list of like things like that Steve can kill with blocks. Actually, kill with blocks. Blocks. Yeah, you might die right now. Down yeah. smash as well. It's crazy. You got up smash. You got Damn. Forward air might kill this percent, I'm not gonna lie. Anything, and anything, yeah, back air, it takes it, yeah. That's a classic, gonna refresh the diamonds Up as well. Up coming out, gonna get There's punished no for that. Oh, man, this is scary, dude. Chonko's in such a bad position, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's just so hard to like play that uphill battle, man. A little bit of movement coming out from Riku there. I know that Steve is at a high percent, right? And that you should probably stay higher up. But I feel like Mithra's the pick right now, is that just me? Like, I feel like the neutral is the most important thing right yeah. now, and Mithra has a way better neutral than Pyro. Definitely, I think Mithra's uh, movement is just too fast, but yeah, that's definitely going to be it. The, the block's just taking it in there. Yeah, like you said, like, with Steve, everything kills. Up smash, S smash, down smash, anvil, forward air, back air, Everything blocks. kills at every percent. Like, it, yep. there's no specific thing with Steve. Yep, for sure. I mean, this character, we all know, top one, like, there's no argument about it. Either. Yeah. If you're still trying to argue and debate that Steve is not top one, like, you're just, you're just definitively wrong. Yeah, you're wrong now. Like... Uh, oh, so switching to the Lucas here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I like it, I he mean. did do good last set with the, the Aegis coming out, but I feel like the last two games of Aegis hasn't been as, uh, as strong. As well. So he might feel more comfortable with Lucas. He, he was playing pretty hot earlier against Dominator, so... He's also studied he's this, right? I'm assuming he's played this matchup quite a bit, so... Yeah, definitely. Definitely a comfortability thing, and especially the way he was playing against Dominator, right? I mean... You definitely want to use that momentum a little bit. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, catch the jump, get up with the down tilt again. Okay, the attack's gonna get punished here. Good less trapping there from Riku, but able to make it back to center stage. It's just, ah, it's just so hard to get those conversions against Steve, man. Yeah, man, I, I completely agree. It's because, like, the character is so oddly, like, weighted and... Like, yeah, and then you have to respect really a lot of things because, like, you can't get greedy against Steve because you can punish a lot of times if you're not, if you're not doing it's, safe options. It's the reversals, doing, right? Yeah. Like, anytime Steve is a disadvantage, you definitely can get hit at any time, right? Correct, yeah. So that's the thing. Disadvantage for Steve is kind of non-existent, but the S-Mash... Coming out from Chaco. Chaco. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Taking that early lead is, like, definitely, like, you, you need that. Yeah. You need to have those leads. You need to be able to maintain those. Oh, but the minecart oh, coming out, that's no. going to take the stock. That's wow. Trashy. Just barely dying to that minecart yeah. there. And that's the problem with Steve, like you said, if you commit to something, you can just die for it. If you jump, yeah. try to commit to like an up air to catch a landing, he can end with you. You can die super it's early anything, off man. It's just the it's mind crazy. card, the aerials, like even just like block is just so non-committal, it's just it's insane. Yeah, like look at that, so much shield pressure just by up tilting alone. Yeah. You know, and it's crazy. Man, Dab it's a forwarder fun. again, it's gonna put down the block, that down tilt coming out, that was a really good down tilt by uh, Riku. Yeah. 
Wow, Rigo has been playing really well too. Like, I feel like definitely. Steve, like I mentioned, not, Steve I mean, okay, if Steve can be as broken as possible, but the character is still relatively difficult to play. And honestly, like, he's not that easy to play. He's not. That he's easy actually to play. pretty hard to play, yeah, unironically. So, like at this level specifically, the way Rigo is playing, and it takes a lot of skill. So I mean, thousand percent. Oh, but wow. to get minecarted there. As silly as Steve yeah, is, it's the just going through that down there. Yeah, in that, in that case, you just you have to go for like a back air. Chaco tried to get that jump call out back air with the uh, try to call out the mic earlier with the back air, but Riku was not falling for that. Yeah, absolutely yeah. not. Riku's definitely played this matchup enough times to know about that. So. Recovery there from Riku as well. Gonna get the jump get up. Allows himself to play back on stage. Riku does play disadvantage really patiently, right? Like he, he waits for his opportunity when he finds it. He capitalizes a lot. So definitely, this is yeah. good gameplay here. Fire gets Chaco just staying out, staying. From, from right now. I mean, yeah, Chaco's just all of Chaco's hitboxes. Definitely, like Chaco's just trying to stay out of uh, Steve's threat, threat range, but it's so hard to contest as well. Yeah, and just, just playing, like, mine card is crazy. Too, yeah. Wow, the four there. Yeah, it's a spike. Wow. Already. All right, so we got a 2-0 here from Riku. And now, Chaco's yeah, pondering here. I don't even know, dude. This might be. The quickest grand finals I've ever seen. It like, might be. I mean, w w he might end up pulling out another character. Let's see if he has another trick up his sleeve. Another I mean, character I, up his back. I'm not gonna lie. I think his best chance is. So. Yeah, I mean, I know he's uh, he's, he's practiced a little bit of like Roy. He has uh, like he has like a little bit of like Lucina practice. Uh, Wolfie's played a little bit of Wolf before. Samus as well. Um, so there's a couple of things that he might pull out. Pac-Man. In a way, he's picking a song from the Pac-Man. I was waiting to see what music he picks. Maybe that that will see like what character he picks. He's not picking Terry. There's no way. No. no. He just he just likes uh I think he just likes the music because he picked yeah. against Dominator. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I want to see what he's gonna pick here. Oh, Snake. We got we got the Snake pick. The Snake. Snake. Ain't no I've way. I've never seen the Choco. I mean, I, okay, I know he's practiced it before, no but I've never seen him pull out the Choco Snake in bracket. The Choco Snake is about to go. That insane. is crazy. He, hey, Yo, okay. You know what? Apollo Kage can do it, man. Yeah, if Apollo Kage can do it, man. Well, I mean, he's. Oh, <laughs> ain't no way. <laughs> That's disrespectful, Loki. Golden the F, man. Oh, man, the forwarder coming out again. Wow, Steve was able to catch uh, Snake off of the Cypher yeah. every time. Wow. Pretty consistently, too. Wow, Definitely. the nooch, dude. Oh, what do you do? He's just sitting there, man. He's just sitting there mining <laughs> menacingly. Yeah, menacingly. Oh, man. I. I don't want to be that guy, bruh. It's over. Like, there's no way. I'm, I'm gonna hold my faith. I'm gonna hold my faith not in the, the Metal Gear, bruh. Bruh. There's no way. <laughs> Why is he looking up? Up B, bruh. At this point, so Riku, Riku, this is, Riku, so Riku is just trolling at this point. Yeah, actually. I mean, troll while you can, right? This character's gonna I mean, be banned he's, a bit, he's so. ahead, so he's having fun. You know what? Yeah, he's he's having a good time. I mean, if you lose this game, you look mad stupid, but... You you would look pretty dumb, Yeah. but it would go in, like, the lore book stuff. Damn, oh, now Smash, Smash coming out. And now you got Diamond. Yeah. It's, it's tough. This is tough. It, it, it's so hard, man. It's, it's crazy. Like, even Snake with, like, frame one grenade pulls and things like that, it's just still so insanely hard. Yeah, no. Nah, like, this look at this. It's so ridiculous. It's like Build-A-Bear Workshop combos coming out. Like, look at this. Wow. Man. Oh wow. God, Good recovery dude. there for Chocolate, though. Gets grabbed again. Just put back in disadvantage immediately. You work so hard to get out of disadvantage, just get put back in it right away. Yeah, that's ridiculous, actually. And the back air is going to almost like the stock again. Yeah, Snake is a little bit heavy, so that's the one good thing that goes to uh, yeah, his favor. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, man, if you're not comfortable on the character, it's going to be really hard to deal with Steve. Definitely. I think it's over. He's, he's yeah, he's shaking. Yeah, he's, he's shook. Yeah, and that's yeah. going to be the tournament, ladies and, and gentlemen. Riku take takes it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Riku yeah. is your Fighter Fest champion. Yeah, Utilizing that Riku, Steve, man. man. Hey. Congrats. Hey. He got it. Steve, man, that's that hey, one your, city character, bro. Get your bro. bag, bro. Get, get, get your bag. Get your bag, dude. man. Hey, if you're not playing Steve, that's 1K. If you're not playing Steve, you ain't trying. You're making a mistake.